Hi, in today's video, we are creating uh, a Jota, a notepad in Corridor 2020 with a creative planning. So, without further ado, let's step into it. So, let's go over here, change it to A5, which is the normal size of, uh, you know, uh, Jota. Then you locate, you know, rectangular to double click on that, automatically snap into page. So, right now, what I'm going to do is to go over and create a basement of. Uh, you know of uh, planning so let's create an object just like so then you go over and to hit ctrl q to uh, convert to curve or you go over right click locate convert to curve automatically it curves so right now what we are going to do is to go over your shape to then you double click to add a node right here and pull it up front good so right now what we're going to do is to make you know uh, a copy of this object up there when you get to the destination you right click then you copy down upward again so in this case what you are going to do is to right click to uh, copy paste then hold shift key select the uh, lower one uh, let's trim off good so let's delete this so let's change the uh, upper one to right then let's go over and uh, you know this object right now so what we are going to do with it this object uh, we are going to go over to locate you know rectangular to let's create an object on top of that and uh, let's go over and change that uh, to red locate your uh, what's it called transparency to click on that then you uh, at, the, at the menu just choose your uniform transparency then you go over here and choose abstracts so right now this is too reddish so what we are going to do is to go over and change the color of that let's change it to a uh, darker you know color like this good it's okay so go over to uh, that, that background so let's convert that to uh, grayscale go back uh, to bitmap locate convert to bitmap then you choose from the menu uh, drop that menu choose grayscale it's okay good so right now we are using red so right now what we're going to do is to go over and make a copy of that center it within that then you go over again let's change this to a darker you know brown uh, darker uh, wine so right now we're going to do is to go over and select the whole thing then repeat map so in this case right now we're going to choose rgb it's okay let's go over again let's choose uh what's it called convert to bitmap let's choose uh cyan magenta yellow black which is cymk cmyk then let's go over to uh, adjust that go to effects look at adjust then tone curve it on tone curve automatically pops up so right now what we are going to do is to pull this down a little bit then pull this angle just like so good it's okay so right now we are going to back clip this into place let's mirror it back clip into this place then hold out key on keyboard adjust that just like so good so right now what we are going to do is to go over and change this to a little bit you know uh, what's it called this color so let's make it a bit you know darker a little bit of wine good so right now what we are going to do is to go over and slant this a little bit select the two slant that then control uh, g so group it all up so let's make it a little bit bigger let's back clip that into place back clip into this main object then hold out key and just just like so good so right now let's part clip this into place beach map part clip then adjust good 
so right now the next step right now is to make the background a little bit you know a lighter color just like so <coughs> good so right now let's bring in uh, the test let's change it to white then go over and change the font to uh, to Rati. so right now let's hit ctrl k to break that into pieces then let's make this a little bit down bring this to test down change it to black so right now let's uh, make the name of this man bolder hit ctrl k to break into pieces then you bold the gems make it bold just like so hit your shape to close that track in a little bit then let's make this break this then hit ctrl k then you bold in that bolding this as well so let's go over and make a right alignment just like so move it closer to each other good move it closer good so let's change that to yellow then pull it down a little bit then go over and change it uh, move this you know closer to the hands then adjust that good can you see that so right now the next step right now is to just you know let's pull the uh, this state right here so reduce that a little bit then adjust the uh, dates so right now what we're going to do is to go over and uh, create an object beneath we need that so make it yellow so pull this up a bit then good can you see that so the next step right now is to create you know uh, this design so let's go over and change this to Edward then make it bigger right click on that so right now what I'm going to do is to bold in let's make this a capital letter it's control F uh, 3 a dollar boss pops up asking you what next to do so hit on uppercase then you hit ok so can you see that so reduce so let's go over and create an hack like a circle on this just like so so let's go over and make this a bit bigger then let's increase the tracking so reduce that a little bit then hold shift key and keep us let it circle then you go over to test then click on fit test the part automatically it fits then you go over at your object locates uh, break this apart automatically it breaks then you reduce that a little bit so let's make the line a white so as this right now what we are going to do is to go over and uh, break this right click on it let's convert it to curve first then you locate your shape tool so right now what you're going to do is to select this so double click right here or oh, select this dot right here then you go over to break off apart automatically it breaks then you double click automatically it breaks so can you see that so it's f12 to, to take in the outline let's make it to it's okay good can you see that so right now we are almost there so let's change this uh this cut c so let's reduce the cut c a bit then bring it right here so let's change that to let's break it then hit ctrl k to break that into pieces reduce this a little bit 
then you bold in this good so what we are going to do now is to just you know pull this a little bit downward good so let's create something here so let's put line beneath all of this good put this closer so taking that etf12 then let's make it one point so make a copy upward then you reduce the line a little bit just like so good so right now what we are doing right now is let's <coughs> so let's make a copy of this background right here background then we'll go over how uh, to make the uh, go over let's ungroup uh, the object inside the container then let's extract you know this extract delete that so make this a little bit you know uh, adjust it just like so good reduce let's delete this let's the picture then let's pack this picture right inside so our next step right now let's see what we're doing control s type james save it into c drive now click save James, it's like I have for another James right there. James 2, save that. Good. So, right now, the next step right now is to go over and bring in, you know, uh, the calendar that we are going to paste at the back of the jotter. So, let's go over to create new uh, layer, hit OK. Then we'll go over uh, to uh, what's it called. So, let's look at, you know, uh, scripts. Then you go over to run scripts. So right now we are creating a calendar from scratch. So let's look at you know calendar wizard. Okay, calendar wizard. Click on that. Then you hit run. So right now what you're going to do is to go over. So the calendar we are creating, we are creating 2023 calendar. So 2023. So let's select all you know months. Then let's go over and uh, make that. So I'm trying to locate which one will be a bit faster for us to use. So let's make use of this one. So right now we're going to do is to go over and uh, you know checking up all of that. So so right now we're going to do is to go over and it generates. Wait a while. So right now it's done so it's okay then you close this so here is the calendar that we created so far so what we are going to do right now is to just you know copy just like so ctrl z then you go over to your design then you paste good so right now let's reduce that So let's position it so well. So right now we are going to type. Uh, so let's type 2023 calendar 2023. 
calenda change it to white then you go over and change the font to futurati uh, let's make it you know uh, <coughs> edward <coughs> then make it yellow make it bigger a little bit create an object you know for that then let's change it to white hit control page down so send it to back good can you see that so let's rest it up a little bit then let's reduce it all up so right now we are bringing in this picture let's put a clip then let's adjust a little bit downward so here we come to the other tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button symbol to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing right now and uh, till we meet again on the next video bye for now